Hey guys, I'm Akash and welcome to Pavli. So the topic for today's video is send WhatsApp messages to new Salesforce leads. Now suppose guys, you are using Salesforce as a CRM application. So you must be generating leads from multiple sources and all those leads are getting added in your Salesforce account. And to build a personal connect with those leads and to nurture them, you want to send them a WhatsApp message as a welcome message. Now, the manual process of sending WhatsApp message to every lead which is getting added in our Salesforce account is very much repetitive and time consuming. So to solve this problem, in this video, I came up with an awesome automation by which whenever a new lead gets added in our Salesforce CRM, automatically a WhatsApp message will be sent to that very same lead. Interesting, right? Now you must be thinking how we are going to do this. So to make this happen, we will be using Pavli Connect, which is an automation and integration software. Now what is the actual step-by-step -step guide to set up this automation and how you can create this automation by yourself? To know this, you have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see, here we are on the Pavli Connect dashboard. Now to reach this dashboard, you just have to go to your browser and search for P-A-B-B-L-Y, pavli.com slash connect. And after reaching to the landing page of Pavli Connect, by clicking on sign up free, you can create your free Pavli Connect account in just two minutes. Or if you already have an account, just click on sign in. So after reaching this dashboard, click on create workflow and give this workflow a name. For example, I'll name my workflow as Salesforce to WhatsApp and click on create. Now we can see that our workflow is open over here. And in this workflow, we have two different windows. First one is trigger window, second one is action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's begin with our trigger window. So the idea here is first, we will get the details or the data of new leads added or generated in our Salesforce account inside Pavli Connect. Then using Pavli Connect, we will send the WhatsApp message as a welcome message or as to nurture them using Pavli, uh, WhatsApp Cloud API. So here in trigger window in choose app, search for Salesforce. Salesforce it is. And after that in trigger event, select new lead. Click on connect, select add new connection and click on connect with Salesforce. It is asking us for the login credentials of our Salesforce account. So let me enter. And I have successfully signed into my uh, Salesforce account and we will scroll down and click on allow. And after that, we can see that our Salesforce account is now successfully added with Pavli Connect. After that, we will scroll down and it is asking us for the instance URL. So how we will get the instance URL of our Salesforce account? For that, we will read the help text given below. Get your instance from setup left sidebar company profile company information then search for instance and it look like ap16 comma ap12 etc if your instance is ap16 then url is this so basically we have to follow these steps to get the instance url of our salesforce account so we will go to our salesforce account and here under setup we will scroll down and we will have an option named as company settings so click here at company settings and then scroll down and click on company information and at this very same page here you will find the instance and this is the instance of your salesforce account so if this is ap16 is your instance then your instance url will be like this so just copy this instance url from here paste it over here and in place of ap16 whatever instance is there in your salesforce account you just have to enter that very same instance over here and click on save and send test request Now after clicking on save and send test request, we can see that we have received a response over here. And this is a response of a random lead from our Salesforce account. So first now we will create a new lead inside our Salesforce account and capture the response of that very same lead inside Pavli Connect. So we'll go to our Salesforce account, click on this plus button and select new lead. Enter the salutation, Mr. Name of the lead, for example, Ashi Rai, sorry, it's Miss Ashi Rai. Email and we have to enter the phone number. 
So this will be the very same phone number guys on which we will send the WhatsApp message as well as the company. And click on save. Now we can see that we have just now created a new lead inside our Salesforce account. Now because we have connected Pabli Connect with Salesforce, the response or the data of this very same lead will be captured inside Pabli Connect as we click on save and send test request. So we just have to do, do this. We just have to click on save and send test request once while after setting up this automation, we will automatically receive the new leads from Salesforce inside Pabli Connect. And here we can see that we have received a response over here. And in this response, we have the name of the lead, Ashira, we have the company, as well as the email address and phone number of the very same lead. So the step one of setting up this automation is now successfully completed. We have successfully connected Salesforce with Pabli Connect and captured the response of a new lead inside Pabli Connect. Now, by using Pabli Connect and WhatsApp Cloud API, we want to send a WhatsApp message to this very same lead on this number. For that, we will scroll down and come to our action window. And here in Choose App, we will search for WhatsApp Cloud API. WhatsApp Cloud API it is. And after that in action event, select send template message. Click on connect, select add new connection. And here we have to connect our WhatsApp Cloud API account with Pabli Connect. So I have already created my Cloud API account, but if you haven't created your WhatsApp Cloud API account yet, don't worry, we have a separate dedicated video on how you can set up your own WhatsApp Cloud API account. And the link of that video will be in the description box below. So by referring to that video, you can follow the or know the actual process on creating the WhatsApp Cloud API account. And after creating your WhatsApp Cloud API account, you will reach to this app dashboard page on your Cloud API account. And at this very same page, you can find all the details which are required to make the connection between Public Connect and WhatsApp Cloud API, like the temporary access token, phone number ID, as well as the WhatsApp business account ID. The main three details which are required over here. But in below token, we can see that there's a help text which says, enter system user generated permanent token as explained here. So the token which we get on this very same page of our app dashboard is a temporary access token, which means this token will expire every 24 hours. But don't worry guys, there is a way by which you can generate your permanent access token, which will never expire. So in Pabli Connect help text below here, there is a hyperlink, click on it, and it will redirect you to a page on our forum. And at this very same page, you will find all the details regarding WhatsApp Cloud API, how you can set up your WhatsApp Cloud API account, how to generate the permanent access token and other details as well. So you can refer to this very same page for generating permanent access token and creating your Cloud API account as well. So just generate the permanent access token and enter that token over here. Copy the phone number ID and WhatsApp business account ID from this app dashboard page from here and here. Paste it here in Public Connect and click on save to make the connection. I have already made the connection, so I'll click on select existing connection and click on save. Now we have successfully connected our WhatsApp Cloud API account with Public Connect. After that, it is asking us for the template name. So you must be thinking, what are these templates? So templates are basically some predefined WhatsApp messages of which we have created inside our Cloud API account. So to avoid the spamming of messages on WhatsApp, first we have to create a template message and we have to get that template message approved from Facebook or should I say Meta. And after the approval, we can use that very same template message to send WhatsApp message to a new leads. So uh, the process of creating template is very simple. Simply go to the app dashboard page, scroll down and here in step two, you will find a hyperlink over here. Click on it and it will take you to the message template page of WhatsApp Cloud API. And at this very same page, you can find all the long list of templates which I have already created inside my own WhatsApp Cloud API account. And the list of these very same templates can be seen here inside Public Connect below template name. So these are the very same templates. If you want, you can create your own template message of your choice by clicking on create message template button. And we also have a separate dedicated video on how you can create a message template, what are the features message template offer, and what is the actual process of creating a template message. And the link of that video will also be in the description box below. So you can refer to it as well. So guys, after creating the template, we have to select a template over here. So the template which we will be using in this video is new, named as new lead sign up. Let me show you the template. So 
So this is the template, new lead sign up. Let's open it. And this is the kind of WhatsApp message which I want to send to new leads which I am adding in my Salesforce account, which says, Hi Akash. So after uh, Hi, we have to enter the name of the lead which is newly created. Thanks for signing up. Welcome to Pavli. So here we will enter the name of our organization. So basically you can see in this body section after Hi, uh, I have added a number in double curly braces. So these numbers here, number one, here, number two are basically some body fields, some variables, which means the text in place of this body fields, these variables can be changed for every sending message. So I have explained every aspect of template creation and what are the features it offers. So you can refer to that very same video. And guys, also we have to select this very same template, new lead sign up inside Pavli Connect. So we will select this very same template, new lead sign up. And after selecting the template, the language code and template ID of this template is automatically detected. So we don't have to make any changes over there. After that, it is asking us recipient mobile number that what is the WhatsApp number of the user to whom we are sending WhatsApp message. So we have received the WhatsApp number or the mobile number of the new lead from Salesforce inside Pabli Connect in our trigger response. So this is the very same number on which we want to send the WhatsApp message to the lead. So we have to map this very same number over here. And the process of mapping guys is very simple. Simply click on this field and from the drop down below, we can see all the responses which we have received from Salesforce. And out of all these responses, map the response or select the response of phone number. After that, the help text below it says enter the recipient mobile number with country code without plus sign. So we have to enter the WhatsApp number of the person with country code. For example, the country code for India is 91. So we have to add 91 before this very same 10 digit WhatsApp number, but not with plus sign. So I'll manually enter the country code for my leads. After that, it is asking us body field one and body field two. So the template message which we have created in that template, we have added two body fields as I shown you. So what is the text which we want to enter in place of these body fields? in the messages which we are sending. So guys, basically in place of body field one, we wanted to add the name of the lead and in body place two, we wanted to add the name of our organization. So this message set template says, hi Akash, thank you for signing up. Welcome to Pavli. We are lucky, so lucky to have you as a precious user. You will be among the first to hear about new arrivals, big events and special offers. If you need any support, don't hesitate to reach out with the questions. We would love to hear from you. Regards. So in place of body field one in public connect, we will click here and from the drop down below from Salesforce responses, we will map the first name of the lead. And in place of body field two, I will manually enter the name of my organization, which won't, won't be changing for every sending message. So the, in place of body field one, whatever the name of the lead, which, which we add in our Salesforce is added, the very same first name will become here in the message in body field one. And in place of body field two, we have manually added the name of our company. So after entering all these details, just click on save and send test request. So after clicking on save and send test request, we have received a response over here. And this response seems to be a positive response to us. This response shows that a WhatsApp message with the template which we have selected over here is sent to this very same number, the same number which we have entered while creating or adding to a lead in our Salesforce CRM. So guys, uh, let's check the WhatsApp account of this very same number. And yes, guys, we can see that on this same number, we have received a WhatsApp message which says, Hi, Ashi, thanks for signing up. Welcome to Pabli. We are so lucky to have you as a precious user. You will be among the first to hear about new arrival, big events and special offers. If you need any support, don't hesitate to reach out with our questions. We would love to hear from you regards. So this is the very same template message which we have selected. And after name, after hi, we have the name of the very same lead which we have created. And here we have the name of the organization as well. So guys, we saw that the automation which we have created in this video is working perfectly fine. Now let's test this automation once. We'll go back to Salesforce and this time we will add a new lead with some new name. For example, I'll add the name of the person as Mr. Akash, my very own name, Akash Singh. Then here comes the email address as well as the phone number. 
So I'll enter the very same phone number just for the sake of this video and click on save. Now a new lead named as Akash Singh is created in my Salesforce account. And we will see that as and when we create a new lead, within 10 minutes, the WhatsApp message on this very same leads number will be sent and we can see the very same WhatsApp message over here. So we have to basically wait for 10 minutes. This is because the connection between Salesforce and Pabli Connect is on a is a polling based connection, which may take approximately 10 minutes to get the new leads from Salesforce inside Pabli Connect. So let's wait for 10 minutes over here. And yes, guys, we can see that within 10 to 12 minutes, we have received a response over here, a WhatsApp message to the very same user, the very same lead which you have added in our Salesforce account just now. So we have the name, hi Akash, the very same name. Thanks for signing up, welcome to Pabli and rest of the template message, which we have created inside WhatsApp Cloud API. So we saw that in real time, this automation which we have created is working perfectly fine. So let's just get back to Pabli Connect and understand in brief that what are the steps we followed to set up this automation. So first, we have created a workflow inside Pabli Connect where in trigger application, we have selected Salesforce and new lead was our trigger event. Then we connected our Salesforce account with Pabli Connect and captured a new lead response or a new lead generation response inside Pabli Connect from Salesforce. After that, using Pabli Connect, we sent that very same data and used WhatsApp Cloud API to instantly send WhatsApp messages to all the new leads which are getting added in our Salesforce account. So not just these application guys, you can basically connect plenty of other applications using Pabli Connect. And guys, one more important thing. You will find the clone link of this very same workflow in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can clone this very same workflow into your own Pabli Connect account and use this workflow for free. If you need any kind of help or have any queries, you can ask them on forum.pabli.com and you can check Pabli Connect's pricing at this link. So if this video was helpful to you, you can like this video. Don't forget to share it with others and to keep getting such content on automation and integration, you can subscribe to Pavli. Thank you. Have a nice day.